Hello everyone, this is Roni. Hope all of you are doing well. Today I am going to talk about this plant which is a Nepenthes hybrid. The, as the text suggests, it is Nepenthes siam nin. It is a hybrid from Thailand. And pictures are dark maroon color. Actually, it is black only. I mean, uh, when you see in the dark, it looks very dark and black uh, it, uh, because in, I keep this plant in shade. So in shade, it looks very dark. But in light, uh, in flashlight, it looks uh, like dark maroon. The color is very, you know, very dark. It looks very beautiful. And inside uh, is uh, like a green variegated, you can see here. Yeah. Uh, this one greenish variegated and under uh, inside uh, the picture is green and you can see some bugs are there new uh, pictures will be coming soon these uh, these uh, I, I like about this plant because the picture stays very long like maybe these pictures are three months two months three months old so it has already started whining here you can see the base there it goes again it is turning like it is like having a u-turn and is going up upwards so this is the newest leaf you can see it is very velvety very soft and here this is a new growth at the base of the plant so media i am using cocoa chips some bits of charcoal some moss is there some sand and coir pith is also there I added some uh, styrofoam chunks so you can see the media I need to refill this actually I reported this last year but due to heavy rainfall the most of the media is washed out so that I, I'll have to fill it like up to here so that this new platelet also get some support it is currently in a 5.5 .5 inch pot and I have no plans to you know upgrade it now as you can see the plant is whining and it has gone pretty big but then also I feel the pot is the pot will at least house this plant for maybe another year or so it hangs I hang this pot like this and the most important thing about this thing about this uh, Nepenthes variety is that it can handle very less light even though if it is in less light it, it gives it rewards with this type of very beautiful small pictures and it pictures doesn't grow very much maximum you can see like this I have seen this much of like two three inches maximum otherwise uh, this is pretty decent size so propagation you can do by cutting here you can cut at this month only because in summer only they root here you can cut or like it is better if you cut here you will have to remove this leaf you will have to cut and you will root and probably if you do do in summer months they will uh, root so these plant, this this variety, I'm very happy that it doesn't need a lot of light. Otherwise, uh, Nepenthes ventrata and other some uh, species like Mirabilis and all they need lot of light, and it it gets very difficult to uh, you know uh, uh, get that that amount of light to picture also. And fertilizer, I uh, it is said that uh, you don't need to fertilize Nepenthes, but I actually sometimes um, spray this with. Um, very half or even quarter st strength of uh, liquid fertilizer and sometimes once in a year or uh, like six months uh, after six months I mean twice a year I put some smoke out fertilizer very little like eight eight or nine uh, you know uh, pellets you can give that will be more than enough for this plant so growth is pretty decent with this uh, you know I'm, the formula I am using like a little bit of fertilization and uh, the media so for me it is working quite well okay. here you can see the result <laughs> so 
it is it is not a uh, not uh, damaged or something it is not growing like that it is growing very nicely it is vining so i think i am doing it right so very easy to care even in light uh, low light conditions people don't have a very high amount of light in their garden they can also have this plant and they can easily see pictures all around the year because this plant i it it is with me for maybe 2 3 years now and uh, every time i see this plant it is always with these type of pictures here i have four now at this moment last month it had maybe six six or seven like that so uh, after a month or so these will die these will come here you can see and the most important part of nepenthes when these type of things uh, like you, you can see in the leaf then you need to keep it moist otherwise if it, this part gets very dry then uh, it will die actually it won't picture here you can see this case let me focus please yeah this picture died actually it was a premature picture and it died due to low lack of watering or humidity could be like this but i won't uh, let uh, happen to this one i will keep it evenly moist so that it turns out to be like this this is actually not dead it is a, it comes like this only this also it, it is not dead it will it will be like uh, after some time after maybe one week you can see you will see a bump then it will bump like this then it will maybe a month later it will turn like this then again a month later it will turn like this so it is a slow process but the picture stays very long not like uh, other nepenthes so uh, but uh, definitely not a house plant of course you can keep it how, uh, inside when uh, when it is, it is in full of full of pictures but uh, definitely you can't grow this uh, you know in, indoors and uh, yeah pretty much it hope you like my video uh, please subscribe my channel and press the notification bell i will be posting uh, almost daily about my plants and please let me know if you want any information about this plant i will try to answer everything uh, thank you goodbye